Melissa here at TCT Crafts. I'm so excited to have you guys on my channel today. We're going to be doing a super fun Christmas swag design. So we're going to be making a Nutcracker themed um, swag. So I did one of these last year. Um, I do them every year. They seem to be good sellers. And so I thought we would do a different twist on um, one for this year. So this is our star of our show is this foam Nutcracker. We do not have him in stock. I picked him up for one of my suppliers, I think two years ago. And unfortunately they haven't brought him back for me to buy them to put in the, um, to put in our store. So just find whatever Nutcracker that you can find, um, preferably foam, but if you do have to use a wood one, just make sure you secure it um, really good. So let's go over some of the supplies that we're going to be using. I will post all of these supplies down in the comments or down, I'm sorry, down in the description of the video. I'll have all the links. And if you want a little instant coupon code, go to jointtctcrafts.com and you'll get a little discount code. Okay, so I use a lot of products on my designs. So scale up or scale down according to your budget. Um, it's, I just like really large flush, plush um, designs. They're typically on the higher end. Um, so just scale up, scale down, depending on whatever your budget is, okay? I'm gonna be using two swags. You can totally get away with one if you prefer. I'm just gonna go in with two. So I'm gonna be using this 32 inch, and then I'm gonna go on top with a 30 inch flocked. So those are gonna be my bases. Um, I'll go over some of the greenery. If you don't want to buy the greenery because it does get expensive, just go in with some mesh and that'll give you a nice filler that's a little bit more um, affordable, okay? But I'm going to be going in with this long pine spray and then I brought the shorter pine spray, okay? So those, we're going to be using those. I brought in a little flocked berry spray that we're going to use. Um, we might use this little frosted bush um, as some filler if we need it. We're going to be using our red and green cluster sprays. And then I brought in our red and gold glitter sprays as well to give it a little bit of bling. And the ribbon, I'm super excited. As soon as I saw this ribbon, I knew what I was going to be doing with it. Um, is this gorgeous Regency Velvet Ribbon. I knew it would match perfectly with Mr. Nutcracker here. I also have, we also have some plaids in the shop that would look really um, nice too because of this little plaid. Um, and that's what I used last year, but I want to change it up just a little bit because I want to use this ribbon. And then we're going to also use our green and gold one inch fair silk, okay? So those are all of the supplies that we're gonna be using, I do believe. So let me clear my table and we'll go ahead and we'll get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started um, with our swag bases here. I'm gonna do my best to keep you guys in view. Um, this is gonna get big, so I'll probably have to switch you back to the front view here in a little bit, um, but I'll keep you guys down here as best I can so you can see what I'm doing. So I am just going to fan these out and get it ready to put our other one on top. These have some really long pine branches, so it, it gets really wide. But you can see how it's on the thinner side so that's why I'm going to take and put one on top. But you could just load it up with mesh and do it that way as well. Okay. Now let's get our flocked one here. We're going to go right on top. I'm going to take a couple of these branches and just twist around it. And then we'll also get in a zip tie here in a second. And let's get another one and just twist.
And I just realized one thing that I forgot to bring in. I wanted to bring in some more of our um, white blocked branches. So I'll probably run and get those, and that will also be another item that we will use. I brought in our natural pine, but I need to bring in some of our white flocked. Completely forgot until I started fluffing this and realized I needed some, some of that in here. Okay. So this one, and then we'll get a zip tie added. I'm going to add two zip ties. Just to make sure they're together good. Let's get one more towards the bottom. add our nutcracker I want to add one of these guys in here and I probably should have waited to do the zip tie until after I got that in there but I wasn't thinking so I'm just gonna cut this down and some of these stems y'all they get thick I have to break out my stem cutter So I'm going to have this guy kind of going up that way. And then we're going to do one towards the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that down as well. Get my hand work out in the day. Okay, so I'm going to take two branches. And twist, and then I'm also going to get a zip tie in there. saved a step and just zip hot all that all together but I wasn't thinking. I'm just going to sort of blend those. And I'm going to get I'm going to twist right here and kind of help hold that down a little bit. Nutcracker added. So he's going to go right in here. Well, let's put him up just a hair. Okay, so he's going to go right in about this area. So I'm going to take this pine and go up underneath his arm and twist it off. We'll add some glue on him too, but let's get this done first. I'm just taking that pine and going up underneath his arm. You could use a, um, if you don't want to use the pine, you could use a pipe cleaner. I'm just going to take and just twist that off like that. Okay. Down here by his, oh, what this little, oh, let me glue that back on there. So 
What is that flapping? Little cup is coming off. There we go. Alright, so down here by his feet. Let me see, I think I might go right around his little staff here. Um, I wish there was a hole in between his legs, but there's not. I'd go right up through there. We could just pin it. I think that's what I'll do. Because he's foam, I'll just get my full pin. And I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. Just get my floral pin because he's foam. And then I can take, I'm going to add a little bit of glue on it. And I can go right up underneath and pin him to this pine branch. Maybe. His little fur is kind of thick. There it goes. There it goes. Alright, let's do it on the other side. I'm just cutting it down so it doesn't go all the way through. I don't want it poking out the other side of this boot. Okay. Alright, he's in there. So let me hit that with a little bit of glue. this with some glue up here. No! Stuck my finger right in that. Alright. He should not go anywhere. Okay. Let's get our bow. Get him more where you guys can kind of see. So I'm going to put a bow right up by his head here. Let's see the sizing. Good size. I'll just drop this to the floor and make it easier. Tighten it. Make sure my loops are about the same size. going to take two of the pine ties and just twist it. And I think we're going to sort of roller coaster this down the side. Just roller coaster that two times down the side, and then I'm going to cut my ribbon here. Okay, and then let's go in with our 
green fair silk. I think I may just do one loop. Let me see. No, let's do two. So I'm going in with some smaller loops of the green. And I'm going to cut it because I don't think I want it. this just a little bit bigger. There we go. I might cut this one down once we get it on the wall, but we'll leave it long for now because we still need to add our other greenery. Okay, let's go on this side and that's somewhere down on this side. I'm thinking I want something right in here. Still need to add our still need to add our granaries. We're just gonna make the length of our design come out. So I don't want to keep our I don't want to have our tail too short. Okay. I think I might do a tail up here. I'm going to tie that and then I'm going to hit it with some glue. use it so I just use this whole roll of this ribbon so again it's a pricey ribbon so if you don't want to use the whole roll um, just go in smaller just use like make just like a one bow here and then just do a small bow here you don't have to do the roller coaster I think I'm gonna put this down here green on this side. And I don't think I'm going to add it on the top or the bottom. We'll just have it on the sides here. Make this a little smaller. Let me hit those tails with some glue, and then I will 
switch the view for you guys and show you what we're working with so far. have so far but that just gorgeous already haven't even added all the grains okay I'll put you back down I'm going to do a little bit down here and then I'll switch the view because I know this is going to be hard to keep it all in frame let me go uh, before I forget I'm gonna go grab I have one of these but I really want a frosted one like that. So let me go grab one of those and I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed some of my frosty sprays. This particular one, we are almost sold out of, um, but we have another one that's very, very similar. Um, I think just the pine is just maybe a hair longer. Um, so I will link that. I'll link both of them in the description just in case you Go to purchase and the one is sold out, you'll have an alternate one to choose from. So I am just going to cut the pine cones off of these. And we're gonna add some of these in here. And then we'll add our couple of our ornaments. I wanna get a little bit of greenery added before we do our ornaments. So let's start with three of these. Give us some, I'm using this as sort of some filler. And I'm just going to start tucking that in here. Let's get a little bit longer piece. And once we stand it up, we'll also be able to see kind of a little bit better what we need to fill in. I'm just going to start on the table for now. And then later I will stand it up. And um, fill in as well. Actually, I think before I go any further with fat pine, I want to go in with a little bit, not our long pine. I think we're done with our long pine. I want to go in with a few pieces of this pine, it's still a little longer than our flocked to give us a little bit more of the length that I want. And then I'll, I'm going to use the flocked as a little bit more filler. Like I mentioned in the beginning, if you don't want to use all this greenery because the greenery does get pricey, especially when you're using nice um, quality greenery, it is not cheap. Um, you can go in with mesh or find a less expensive greenery to use since you're already going to be paying a lot for your ribbon and your focal point, then that's another option as well. So just go in with a little bit less expensive greenery. Okay, so see, I'm just going to, this gives me a little bit more length. get one of these really long ones. I'm just going to extend that down from this. I may have to put a pick on some of these. I'm just going to blend these a little bit. sides closer to the bottom to kind of um, fill in our perimeter here.
just I'm continuing, but now I want some longer pieces for for here. So I'm gonna cut up another one. Okay, so down here towards the top, I'm gonna go in with a longer piece to extend to the end of our where our ribbon is. Go right behind his little head there and his little hat. Okay. I'm gonna go in with another longer piece and I'm gonna go right up under there and I'm just kind of keeping with our shape. And again, you'll really be able to see it better once we hang it up. Right now, I know I'm filling in some of the pieces and then when we stand it up, we can really kind of get an eye for what we still might need. Okay, cut up one more. We're gonna make it work. I think I need to tie this a little better. There we go. Starting to get big, y'all. And fill that in. One more piece here. I'm gonna go right up underneath this ribbon tail. Okay, I am going to, I think, hang him up. He's starting to get really big. Um, so let me hang him up and then we will finish it out. All right, y'all, I have you guys up on the easel now. And let's finish it out. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with our some of our little pieces that we cut up with our little frosted. Let's go in with a couple of these and then we're gonna add our ornaments. Actually, let's stop before we add any more pieces of that. Let's get our ornaments added. So these are little ornament clusters. I'm going to cut the stem down a little bit. And I want one kind of cut in there. Sure, it's not going to go all the way through 
the back. I need to cut it down just a tiny bit. Once we get our, there's a little bit of a hole here, but once we get our other greenery added, that'll fill that in. Let's do a cluster. I think we're going to do that red one there. I like that. go in with one with the longer stem and I'm going to go kind of up with it so it won't go straight out the back. that with a little bit more blue. So it's like our little button. And then let's do that down on this where we tied in that little roller coaster down here. Let's add one down there too.
Y'all, every time I work with these pine needles, they always get stuck in my ring. And you think I would learn to take my ring off, but I don't. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of glue on that. Okay, we have three more. Maybe we can tuck one down here at the bottom. Y'all forgive my faces. I noticed when I watch these replays back that I can make some of the funniest faces when I'm working. I'm so serious. Love it, love it, love it. All right, now let's go in with some of our fillers. So I want to bring in some of these fun little berry sprays. I'm just going to cut these up. We're, we will add a couple. We'll just cut them sparingly see where we want to place them. Just give it a little bit of that pop of red with the berries. And we still have our glitter sprays too that we haven't added. Which is optional of course if you don't want the glitter. Now I know there's like these pine that I'm not Dig in right there, so I'm going to break it up with one of those. There we go. All right, get another one of our little berries. You can't wait to work um, with these on a grapevine design. Put those in there. Okay, let's get another piece. Cut this down just a hair. And I'm going to go right up underneath. probably use three of these. Maybe. If I 
on it in there. We'll use a smaller greenery to go in there. So let's do this one. Let's go back on this side. Start up at the top. almost think we need a piece back here. Let me stand back and see. It's hard to work from that angle. I think so, but I'm going to push it down a little bit. And it, it was sticking up a little too high. you get going how much product you end up using. And we'll go in. Got two more pieces. Put this one down a little bit. And then I go in right behind those ornaments. thinking about it, I need to tuck a piece of greenery right behind that to kind of help support these ornaments. So I'm just going to tuck that in right there. Okay, last piece. I'm going to give it a little bit of a bend. All these blue strings, I'm covered in them. I'm going to go right through there towards the center underneath that little loop de loop so that it hangs down like that. All right, let me step back. Beautiful. Love it. I had one more piece that put it right here, but I don't. So let's add one of our little frosted bits. All right. Now I'm going to take um, our little frosty pieces. I'm just going to kind of look and see where it looks like we have a little bit of a hole. And then we're gonna add our, we still have our glitter sprays to add to. And of course, the glitter sprays are optional. But we'll give it some bling. Okay, so I'm just filling in on the sides in between those layers with that um, frosted green, right? We need, we need a little support for our um, tail back here. So let me get a piece in the back. Kind 
going to help pull our tail up a little bit. All right, so let me cut up another one of these. Do you guys see how much trainer we're using? It's a lot. So you can definitely use mesh. Um, I have sort of pivoted for mesh, I guess is the right term. I still use it on occasion. Um, for me personally, I just have found that I prefer to design without the mesh. I'm more of a greenery person. Um, I love using the different greens to fill out my base instead of the mesh. Um, do I use it? Sure, on occasion. But primarily I, and especially at the holidays, I love the pines, so I tend to not use a lot of mesh, especially during the holidays. I'm going to use more of the greenery, but there is nothing wrong with mesh. It's how I started. I just sort of pivoted, I guess is the right word. Okay, so I'm going to tuck in a little piece there. So I'm just going in and filling in our holes before we get to our glitter sprays. Our glitter sprays will be our last little ta da. Okay, I'm going to go in with one more maybe. And this this will be a pricey design this guy here just by himself um, I have to look it up but I think he was around sixty dollars just just the nutcracker so if that tells you anything it's gonna be pricey but Christmas is the one season that people will usually splurge on for their home decor. I know I do, right? We all go, a lot of us go all out for Christmas versus the other holidays. It's got a little hole right here. I need to try to, maybe our glitter or spray will fill it in. See if I can maybe get one more piece up in there. I gotta make sure I have enough for it to bite onto back there. Okay, I have one more piece. Let me step back. Now let's add our last element, which will be our, I don't even think we need to use these. So I brought these in just in case we needed some filler. And we might, but I don't think so. I think by the time we add our sprays, we're gonna be good. So I will cut up probably two of each, two red, two gold. Okay, so I got our little pieces. I'm just gonna start tucking them here and there. We'll do one up at the top. I'm just gonna kind of alternate. If you need a little extra stem, just pull those off. Gives you a little bit of the stem. Just 
tucking those down in there. I don't want it sticking too far out. This one might actually be a little too tall. Let me see. It'll be all right. I'm going to put one more piece of greenery back there. I have a little spare bush over here. Let me just grab one of those. going to start tucking these around the side all the way around. All right, y'all, I think we are done. She turned out beautifully. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you are new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe, hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time we have a new tutorial. And if you're loving our tutorials and you want a few extra exclusive tutorials every month, we would love to have you join our VIP membership group. There is, um, a link down in the description that will show you how to get to our membership group. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, bye y'all.